Greetings. Uh, welcome to Wednesday, June twelfth. No idea where Xavier is. I don't. I don't. I, I'm sure he'll show up if he shows up. He'll, he'll pop in. I was just working on something because I just wanted to. Oh, okay. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Oh, okay. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Okay. So today was Jelly Roll Day. <sighs> jelly Roll. Yeah. Howard actually jelly roll. really yeah. believed that Jelly Roll was his real name. <laughs> and whether to call him Jelly or Mr. Roll. And then Robin didn't know if Jelly Roll was one word. And then Howard said his mother named him after the donut. So <laughs> the the donut. intelligent, crazy, brilliant grouping. And, uh, and oh, he oh, oh, hello. Hi. Hey. Hi. Color people, yeah, right? Am I right? Yeah, what? you're totally on CP time. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just talk about Mr. Jelly Roll, Mr. Roll, Mr. Or, Roll, as his friend, Professor Roll, exactly. Mr. Roll, <laughs> Professor Roll, yes, 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 Doctor Roll, Doctor Roll. Doesn't he, he look? Doesn't he look like the? He looks like uh, Diabetes from Family Guy. <laughs> 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 he kind of does, and I hate that. Totally like him, dude. That's now, funny. I'm it. sorry. That's really funny. I hate you <laughs> all the more for it. Diabetes. Diabetes. No, you no. Can't diabetes. play any audio. Don't play any audio. Just, you know, what? just do a uh, just do a pause so people can see him. It's just uh, it's hold on. Let me get to. I him. wonder if he's, is he related to Esther Roll? It's only nine <laughs> seconds. Let's just play it. I don't care. I don't care. Right. Do it, do it, do it. It's only nine seconds. Hold on. Hold on. For her prematurely overweight son, Diabito. Mama, may I have cookie? No, Diabito. Roll back to kitchen. Oh. For her That's prematurely it. overweight son, ah, Diabito. I can't play it twice. Oh, need, ah, no, 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 no. No. Diabito. Diabito, um, no tattoos. Yeah, yeah. Jelly Roll is Diabito. With tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So, 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 so. So, so, studio? Who was, uh. So, studio. They started uh -huh. with Diabitos at like eight o'clock. So, there was really only like an hour of show. And yes. Like two hours, 15 ish on Jelly Roll, which is way too much time. I mean, the guy actually. <laughs> He seems uh, like a nice guy. Well, he has an interesting life story for sure. Oh, uh, uh, well, all right. So, actually, it started at eight ten. So it was, it was just, it was a little snurch over two hours. But okay. the thing about Jelly Roll, Jelly Roll is actually a decent person. He learned a lot of lessons, and he's actually seems like a very decent person. And he has an interesting story. Unfortunately, we had the worst interview in the world talking to him. It's amazing, and and he, he made him boring. Be there. He was so proud to be there. He was like. You know, thrilled that he was getting interviewed by Howard Stern. It was just kind of like a, you know, a big deal for him. And I get it. You know, he's a younger guy. He's just on the periphery of knowing who Howard is, yes. just in terms of who he is and his wife and all that stuff. Um, so I get where he would have like a little bit of like fanboy thing going on for Howard. Um, but again, you know, it's kind so of. Do you cool. think the. Yeah. Yes, Xavier. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. Okay. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't really know. I kind of agree. You do see, I hate when you agree with him. It's just, you know, I you, kind of agree. You, what are you drinking tonight, by the way? Uh, tonight I am uh, going to my uh, old Forester. Old Forester. Hey, no. That made, yes. I'm going to do a reboot real quick. Okay, go for it. Okay, have fun. Uh, okay, goodbye. Okay, bye. Mm. Okay, bye. Ah, yummy. Now, uh, tell me about Old Forester because that sounds like something that, like, the homeless guy on the corner would beg for like ten dollars so that he could buy. No, this is actually <laughs> a very. This Just, is actually a fairly old um, uh, rye forest uh, company. is started in nineteen forty. Uh, actually, um, actually restarted in eighteen forty. It was established in eighteen uh, seventy. Mm. When they first started making Old Forester, but then they actually, the modern company started in 1940. It and made? it's good stuff. This is high quality. It's not expensive, but it's good quality stuff. It's very smooth. This is 100 proof, and it goes down very nicely. 
Oh, okay. Well, as you know, I'm not really a big fan of the brown liquors, but okay. I mean, you know, that's it. That works for you. I'm, uh, yeah, this is definitely an old Forrester advertisement. Yes, because they... Uh, in, in an advertisement, absolutely. Not to God's ears that we could get an advertiser. I mean, not that I've tried, let's be honest, but it's... Uh, then, we'd, then we'd have to be committed to doing an actual show and... Well, really, I mean, you know, it depends. Who wants that? Well, uh, it depends what the money's all about. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, you know my feelings on that. So, uh, well, you know my feelings on that too. Yes, and we are diametrically opposed. On Absolutely. The, yeah, because I, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't think about the money thing, and it's okay. And you know, I'm, uh, yeah, I don't sell out. That's right, Al. <laughs> Not a sellout like Dennis. I'm, a, I, I'm, I'll admit it. I'm a hundred percent sellout. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, oh, there's the cat. Are you there? Yes, I had a reboot. Yay. Okay, I'm going to fix your sound. Okay, so don't do anything. Let me do it. Do. Uh, oh, you're actually okay. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to start talking about the show that was on today that featured Jelly Roll and only had an hour worth of programming before Mr. Roll came in. <laughs> so, and then as a surprise today... I mean, I guess it wasn't really a surprise, even though uh, Radio Gaga, thank you so much for posting it today in the RadioGunk.com forum about Howard doing a guest DJing thing on Lithium Radio on Sirius XM. Satellite. I'm glad he promoted that. Oh, wait, he didn't. How did she find yes, out? He did. He did. Uh, so as I was judiciously listening Where? to and I swear to God, I didn't even start the show until like one o'clock this afternoon. But because I was already aware of the fact that he was doing the lithium thing, I was listening to commercials during. At what time? When did he promote it? Because I listened to the entire show. Uh, guest DJ promo is clip number nine for me. It was right after. Okay, I'll tell you what it was. Remember right. how he messed up that stupid commercial? Yeah, yeah. I was laughing so that, hard I probably missed it. Bank, in that bank of commercials is where. Oh, you're kidding me! So when, I missed it because you probably just you know tapped out in. Oh bank. yeah, because it was at um, it was uh at the eight o'clock hour because they were hour. doing ten minute break to get jelly rolls in. Exactly. So, uh, and what I did notice on the lithium channel is that, and they must have made them do it because Conan is doing it next on like June 24th or something like that. Jesus um, so I think they're pulling out their big guns too. Uh, yeah, they're, they're like, we, we better circle the wagon because shit's about to go down. Yeah, I think in so. Goodbye. Well, and don't forget that lithium is part of the regular channels. Howard Stern is not. So Howard being introduced, or not introduced, but reintroduced maybe to a, a, a whole group of people that don't even pay to have him on their radio. The majority of the people. And you'll hear it when I play the lithium stuff. So, Hopefully I won't get any music uh, dings for this. But the, the thing about lithium and all the music stations, they absolutely destroyed them by having these DJ. Washed up DJs oh, on there. The worst. I wait, and is before we really start on it. I drove twenty five hundred and fifty miles, and we had we, and it's not a commercial for YouTube music because there's other streamers just we as good. Music. We love music. And literally, I listened to every song I liked for the awesome. entire trip, and there was no interruptions. At all. And the suggestions that you like, and things that you can, like thumbs up and add to your playlist, and Everything. albums. Well, and if you're in a shitty area, you can just go to your downloads and listen exactly. to all of those. Who wouldn't do that? Well, it's great. I had you the can assistant. even just tell it to play your a genre that you like. Exactly. You know? And it's it's awesome because you end up eventually listening to something you haven't heard since high school. Exactly. Exactly. And, and I had assistant cool. running it on in her phone. To our little Bluetooth speaker, and assistant. assistant was asking me what I wanted to hear, and we were doing that, and it was, we just drove down the road and just listened to music. It was great. Okay, so driving up here from Florida, I listened to, I listened to music. I also listened to a shit ton of podcasts because that allows me to just kind of zone, and kind of zone out a little bit without falling asleep. Um, but n at no point did I put on serious. At no point. And it's so funny because for some reason here, my my Sonos like carry around Bluetooth speaker that I have here, I uh, I can't get it to connect to my YouTube music for some reason, but it will connect to Sirius. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I never listen to Sirius. 
I'll put it on. So I put on like maybe like a chill station or maybe it was even lithium or it had to be lithium or like 80s, alternative 80s, whatever. Anyway, so I'm sitting outside, you know, digging some weeds out and shit. And it's like Carol Miller or somebody like her talking to some guy that came in. And it's like it's going on and on, mm -hmm. like two songs played during. And I'm like, who would listen to this? Who could give a shit? Exactly. Talk radio as your music. I don't want it. Nobody. I mean, you could literally just put on a podcast if you want to hear people talk. Exactly. It's, it's real, it's, I want to hear music. It's I want silly. Music. It's just ridiculous. And, and I don't want to hear music I like. I don't really care about Howard's stupid playlist, which was stupid. You, you, know, <laughs> you know, count that he was going to so star and, you know, tr music from Train. I mean, he's so basic. He's so. What? Basic. Wait, wait. He's on Lithium and he played Train? He played all kinds of stupid yeah. shit. He played all Are kinds you of serious? Shit. I have a list of it somewhere. I'm going to. Jesus oh, wept. I, I, what an absolute tool he is. Thank what you, Aloha. A... Thank you, Aloha. And very, how bold Uncle Fester. How very. Oh. Like, he looks like Ben. He looks like Ben Stern. Yeah, exactly. Pull up Ben Stern and you got That's power. Howard. Well, since 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 we know C, we don't know. We well, don't. I mean, usually genetics are very hard to fight. <laughs> yes, this is true. Tell Emily about that. Oh, yeah. Poor thing. So, thankfully, Radio Gaga um had put up the patron saint right there man dang it yeah she did and she she actually gave us a list of pretty much all the music that he played so you know everybody's guessing is he gonna do like you know his his classics collective soul goo goo dolls all that mm -hmm. shit but we'll go into it uh you know when we get to once again let me reiterate what i posted on that thread in the 90s it was all about spice girls and dawson creek for that guy Yes. So for him, like even even playing Black Hole Sun, which is one of the in most seventies, it was all about bread and America for that guy. It's, you know it. It's like even that, that's a deep cut for him. Black yeah. Hole Sun's a deep cut for him because yeah. it's not. Where have all the cowboys gone? Like, yes, that's the kind yes. Of crap he was listening to. Yes, that, that one in. And I'm torn. Blah 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 blah. I'm torn. <laughs> that's a great dude. Song. Seriously. All right, let's begin the show. And let's that's what he was into. Let's listen to the beginning of the show. Here we go. Hello. Here we go again. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh, I don't want to wait. Next to my headphone. Quack, quack. Right, Melody. Here we go. A little better. Thank you. It was a horrible song. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, good morning. Yeah. I'm exhausted. I got up at like three o'clock in the morning and I'm like woozy now. I'm in no mood to do a show. But I'll do it. I'll do it. I did the same thing. Yeah, I don't sleep anymore. I, I was watching uh, Godzilla Minus One on uh, Netflix oh, really? and uh, yeah, and uh, I passed out during it. Next thing I know, <laughs> he says during it as if he actually watched it. Uh, he I didn't. Mean slightest bit as you know okay it's godzilla good. a good sleeping movie <laughs> it's a good movie i mean uh it's a japanese film where uh netflix has done us the favor of of course dubbing in uh english speaking uh you can watch it with subtitles too but fuck reading i um i'm watching it with the uh you know the dub again psychotically intellectually and curious yes everybody godzilla will movie man come on to the godzilla movie in japanese with the reading mm -hmm. subtitles is the best way so you get the nuances of what yes. they're saying and stuff like that not the dub version. dubbed in voices he's so stupid i know what were you gonna say then? Well, well the other thing is though he's talking about this movie seven months after it was released right. seven months ago now, this movie to, came out to be fair we talked about it six or seven months ago and and yeah we, dennis was all blowing it up for us bro it was nowhere to see it unless you saw it in the theater like there was no access that's how you should see it you, you should see it in the theater in another life i would 1000 percent have seen it in a i theater. saw it in a theater it was so good in the theater so good your own theater that's see, right your own theater do yeah. do the at dolby atmos on that thing is when he's attacking yeah. them on the first I time it on the island screen. is freaking ridiculous Nonetheless, it was a great oh, movie. Oh, roll your eyes. I love now, it. Oh, we are rolling. We are rolling. But, but I know that it came out just recently. And I was, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh, my God, I have to watch this. Like, immediately. First day it was released on, on I think it's on Max, whatever. 
Um, let's continue. Pretty cool. The opening scene with Godzilla is just awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I, I, rec- I, I give it a big thumbs up. And- you know, I, I, um, I actually I have that scene. If you'd like to, um, you know, see, I, I love the John, Johnny Come Lately that he's become. Yeah. Well, tell us. Yeah. I mean, uh, you want to see the scene? If it's if it's like cold Chinese food that's in the back of the refrigerator for six months. That's what's that's in the dumpster now, bro. The, <laughs> it's the, in the dumpster. Is, right. The point is, is that Dennis talked about this movie when it came out, and yes. we have talked about this movie several thousand times. About I can't wait till it comes out. Where is it? Why can't I stream it? Why can't I find it? And well, um, we, we we talked about why, but yeah. Yes. Okay. So I have Recently. the op- I have the opening for you. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> so oh, it's down. I'm going to cover my eyes. Oh, God, Zero. Uh, <laughs> horrifying. I love that. Oh, my God, it's so scary. Zero. 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 <laughs> I had to do that. It was just stupidity. Sorry. Uh, let us continue. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, well, I like that them. they swung back to the old way where, you know, we always used to read, I um, mean, hear, see those movies dubbed. What? Uh, you know, so you try to see if the lips were matching what? and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. Kids. I'm glad they went back to that. Yeah, the effects are pretty cool. Takes place post World War II. With- wait, wait, wait. Okay, here's the part I want for that. This is why I continued on with this clip. So he's talking about Godzilla. Yes. Okay. Now, if this isn't a read for a commercial, I don't know it what is. It, is. it is. It's a read for a commercial. It is. know how to ad lib a read for a commercial. And you know that these are not his words because no. he speak this way. So listen to this. Listen to, you know, right after Robin talks. Here we go. Japan is devastated by. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, here, see those movies dubbed. You know, so you'd always try to see if the lips were matching and all that stuff when we were kids. I'm glad they went back to that. Yeah, when we were kids. Cool. Takes place post World War II, with Japan is devastated by American and ally bombs, and uh, you know, and then and make matters worse, Godzilla now is on the scene. I've just started it. Seems really good, and, and I got to watch. Everyone's talking about Hitman. I got to watch that. So yeah. So, yeah. It's a Netflix commercial. It literally is a Netflix commercial. And they've been running with those Netflix commercials, by the way. Yes, that, he has. Like, um, ridiculous, honestly. Just ridiculous amount of commercial drops. And and the fact that he's reading constantly. Like, he's just reading. And he can't read well. That's the bad part. I mean, he really can't read well. Oh, well, we're going to get to that in a moment. I know, I know, but he just can't. So, so then he, in all earnestness and in all seriousness, says the following. Because, you know, basically the first hour was half a build up to Jelly Roll and then mm-hmm. maybe 10 minutes of Ronnie. And that's pretty much all. Oh, and then some horrible, like, phony phone calls. But that's it. Here we go. Is it Jelly or Jelly yeah. Roll? Is no, jelly, jelly, roll like, yeah, jelly, <laughs> jelly Roll would be like, Jelly Jelly Roll would be like if uh, you called me Howard Stern. It's, you know, oh, okay. You, you, his name's Jelly, like when you're talking to him. Okay. Yeah. His At mom named him after a... Would- what? His mom named him after a donut. Oh, so, okay. But that's you know. one word, isn't it? No. Jelly roll is two words. Okay. Roll is his last name. Now, he said this seriously, even though everybody, and even with a simple wiki, could tell you that that is not, in fact, his name. But, I mean, was he being Could he possibly have been being serious? Yes, he was. He actually is so stupid, he probably thinks his real name is Jelly Roll. Yeah, Jelly and not Mark. his nickname, his real name, Mister Mister Roll, Mister Roll, Mister Roll. Quick, M- Monique, who's older, Godzilla or Robin? Uh, Robin. Robin. Robin is two years older than Godzilla. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and also a hundred, pa- and also about two hundred pounds heavier. Yes. 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 But she loved when they dubbed it when they were kids because they could see Robin of all people watching Godzilla, like. Hey, I liked watching Godzilla. 
Uh, but you're no. not you're not 72 years old. I don't know that. I'm not necessarily sure that she was that person. That's all I'm saying. Mm. Not being an ageist. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Well, she was two years old when the movie came out. So what well, she was reading that too. So everybody. The movie theater. Jelly Roll's real name is Jason Bradley DeFord. He is 39 years old from Tennessee. He That's a rough 39, bro. He, well, you know. Well, you know. He went, he went, he's gone to the pokey a few times. Uh, yeah. He's gone a little pokey. That's more like it. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, Show me your prison wallet. He did, in fact, earn his GED whilst he was in jail. Good for him. Yes. And he did uh, get arrested for a felony, which I'm not even sure they talked about this on today's they show. They did. They did for a hot second. Jelly Roll says he's second. having trouble booking international tours due to past felonies. Yeah, they don't mess around in some of those countries, man. Yeah, he uh, um, felony. They're the, like, you got to go. Yeah. At the end of the show, he asked if he if he's getting that cleared up. And Jelly, Mr. Roll said that he had spoke to attorney and some attorneys yesterday to try and uh, get it cleared up. Mm. Or JR. I don't think that's going to happen, man. I know. That's a tough one to. Uh, maybe one. Like Edgar, maybe or Paul McCartney for a dude like that. I don't think so. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what happens with it because I'm sure people over in, you know. He ain't going to Japan anytime soon. Bunch house in Germany are just dying to see Jelly Roll. I'm oh, sure. absolutely. Yes, yes, well, yes, he yes. fits in. I mean, He's, yeah, he works. He works. He works right in there. Um, okay, so let's move on. And again, again, with the information so handy, so that you know, it's like basically it's like Robin throwing a tennis ball to my dog, and my dog <laughs> just like being ready for it and just being able to jump up and grab it in his mouth. Here we go. And again, uh, yeah, uh, you'll understand when you and, and quite frankly, then the rock charts too. All right. Well, so, you know, Kenny Rogers made that leap from rock to country. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Hold on, I have notes. I have notes. Hold on. Can't can't find what what, what condition my condition is in. Well, that was the name of uh, that's a good yeah. recall. That's uh, uh, Kenny Rogers' rock hit when he was with Kenny Rogers in the first edition, and then moved over to the Kenny Rogers solo country career. But there you go. All right. Really? So a uh, bunch of wow, so natural. Something that he knew, like seriously. That was so natural. Why would anybody like even that care? Acting. How scary is that, right? No, nobody cares. But that's why like when Doctor That's like when Doctor Dre was in a boy band and then he became Doctor Dre. <laughs> why? That's <laughs> true. Doctor Dre in a boy band? Uh, you can look it up. He was in a boy band. Wow. Oh, you guys haven't seen the pictures, man. Come on. Mm -mm. Did you guys forget about Dre? Damn. I might have. You forget about oh, you, that went over your head. Uh, no, 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 no. We got that. All right. Dr. Dre is still embarrassed by. Okay, let's go see. Let's go see Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre still embarrassed by a secret musical. Past. <laughs> oh, my God. Is this Lamar with the javelin? Probably. I thought it was Robin. I thought it was Robin with facial hair. <laughs> it's like Lamar. <laughs> oh, electric funk group world class wrecking crew in 1985. You cannot tell me. That's Robin. No, that is not. <laughs> no, that wasn't him, obviously. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna fight you on this one. I Are like you? <laughs> Wait till you see Lamar's throw. How oh, come? Worms is a master at aerodynamics. He designed the javelin to go along with Lamar's limp wristed throwing style. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna fight. Okay, you. yeah, it's Lamar, even though it kind of looks a little like Robin. Lamar Robin quivers. That's exactly. Right. <laughs> he went from that to, and it's one eight seven undercover cop. 
I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. You know, someone said like he, allegedly he's gay. I don't know about him, but I have a producer friend who's a really good friend of mine who's super bear gay. And he told me a long time ago that Ice Cube is definitely fruity in the booty on the DL. Listen, a lot of these guys are fruity in the booty. I mean, and I, I am po pretty positive that once they finally arrest uh, P. Diddy, a lot of shit is going to come out on a lot of people out there. It's going to yeah. break even harder than uh, Weinstein. Seriously, it's going to break harder. Great music, though. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't even do that. Those guys sue everybody. Yeah, you can't do that. Okay. Don't do that. So, then, of course, we had a victory lap. Uh, oh. All right, you know, I didn't play any of this yesterday because it was so horrible, but um do the victory lap though. Yeah, but they were they were they were there was like uh funny phone calls that literally Richard peaked about, I don't know, 19 years ago with the funny phone calls. And the fact that they even did news flubs, seriously, some of them for, were like from the 80s. Um yes. the hockey one and all this stuff. I am. I'm shocked that they actually went back to that as if it was something relevant for today's society. But okay, let's victory lap a little bit. It killed time. It was oh, well, I love Richard and his phony phone call about his Johnson, oh, Mike really? Johnson. Mike Johnson. Viva they la want Johnson. More of that. Yeah. yeah. We did a poll, and 75 percent of the people want to let Richard keep making my Johnson phony phone calls really? instead of Mike Johnson. <laughs> no, it is. Really? Yeah. Exactly. No, no one did. Howard is wrong. Mike Johnson is an instant classic. Okay. No. No. no, 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 no. I didn't see the poll anywhere, by the way. I just, uh, there was no poll throwing it out there. I don't think that that exists. They asked, they asked, what? they asked four staff members, and three of them said yes. Sure, sure, sure. It's sure, a poll 75%. Sure, 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 sure. So let's move on a little bit and let's go to uh, this headline, which of course then led to some. Joey Chestnut is out at the 2024 Nathan Hot Dog Eating Contest in a beef what? in Frank. So apparently what happened is that he, uh, he got a lot of money. Got a lot yeah. of money. That's, when that's it, what it comes down to. Foods. Now, Joey Chestnut, he's no looker. And he's been doing this hot dog eating competition for, what, a thousand years. And yes. he decides somehow that he's going to get in league with Impossible Burger, who's doing like a impossible hot dog made from plants did you hear the late the, the breaking news that just came out literally like what the last hour joey chestnut versus kobayashi dog eating contest set by netflix september the 2nd really you remember kobayashi kobayashi yes. was like yes, the I remember OG. Him. yes. but I, I thought he had like our, we, he literally got arthritis in his jaw and had to quit Joby is another one who went into league with another hot dog thing because he was um, eliminated for going yeah. with somebody else and he wound up doing another hot dog eating competition. Kobayashi! Godzilla! So I'm not going to do Nathan's is what you're saying. I mean, not that anybody cares. I can't even imagine anybody cares, honestly. So I, he, do. Like, I enjoy know, watching like, the Coke Nathan's. Pe versus Pepsi thing. Is he, he, he ate 76 hot dogs and buns in 2021. Yeah. And then kept his title with a paltry 62 last year. But apparently there's a Nathan's very strict thing that says you cannot advertise another hot dog. Oh, yeah, why would you? Of course not. Uh, Rob, um, Howard was on his side, weirdly enough, thinking that they need to change. Look at the, look at this. Look at this. This is your. Hey, on, you get a belt and a big trophy. That's this awesome. is your claim to fame. Uh, is he single? And a cash, and a cash, and a and a paycheck, and the paycheck. How much do you make? How much do you make? How you much make, you make? Decent money being on the eating on the eating circuit. He, eating he does circuit? well on the eating circuit. I don't know. It's disgusting on the eating circuit. Yes, it's a it's circuit. Talking, talking, but uh, you know, I I had two Nathans tonight. So did you now? Yes, I did. Hmm. Were you subliminally uh, lured into the hot dog by the conversation that was had? Yeah. Uh, yes. You might have been. It could have been. It was subliminal. Did you know that Howard's daughter ate a com uh, ate? Did you <laughs> dated? Howard's daughter dated a competitive eater. No, because okay, of a fake story. I, I need to know uh, details on that. That sounds like complete bullcrap. I'm going to give them to you right now. Please hold. Fake story. Oh my he in the contest one year. He almost bit his tongue off. Like he yeah. bit his tongue almost in half while he was trying to eat. I was like, man, one of my daughters. Dated uh, back in the day, date was was in relationship with a guy who was a a, a competitive hot dog eater, and really? 
Yeah, yeah. He loved it. I mean, that's not what he did for a living, but he would go to all these contests. And he I used to hang amateur, with him. Huh? <laughs> he was an amateur hot dog eater and uh, really <laughs> nice guy. I really his, liked him. I bet if you said his name, I'd know him. Howard, I know all yes, like okay. well, X. I know all these exist. guys. It's really weird, too, because my daughter said, you know, hey, I'm, I'm, I've been seeing this guy for a while. I want you to meet him and everything. I got, you know, and I'm talking to him. He's, you know, and he had a, he had a job in the uh, in, in an industry and everything. But he started talking about eating con hot dog eating contest and i went mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just a little uh different <laughs> mm -hmm, <laughs> but i ended mm -hmm. up really liking the guy and i was fascinated by the fact mm -hmm. that he ate all these fucking hot dogs sure, 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 sure. and i would talk to him for hours about eating hours, hot dogs. hours. I think oh how many hours on it, but i wasn't i was just like like and he also did he would be all ashley right things. he competitively it's and none driving the milk he had a drink and there was one time he passed out. I mean, don't ask. No. Like, his oh. life. And my daughter was like, geez, I don't know. No. no. I, I think I think the original story was your daughter got stuffed by 60 wieners. <laughs> Chris says, not going to say his name because that would involve him having a name. Yes, that's exactly right. Exactly. exactly. And he's not really competitive. I, mean, I bet you well, one all, they went out to dinner and there was like a sign there that said, you know, if you can eat this hamburger, you win like the, the meal plus like $10 or something. And he did it. You know? Listen, listen, first of all, let's eliminate Emily right off the bat. Yes, yes exactly. Unless, unless it was a tuna eating contest. <laughs> and then, um, so Deborah has been in a relationship for a long time. Yeah. So not only leaves Ashley as a potential. Unless, he, unless there was a fourth daughter, Zeppo, or something, you know? You never, Ashley, you never saw Ashley with, like, although, you know, if Gary Papa was here, he would show us five million pictures of Ashley with guys. I I, I, I think is it's a false story. It's it's, it's the fake story, Mo. It, that's and, the fake and story. plus, he, he, he stumbled through it really hard. Yeah, he did. It was a real hard stumble. One of my daughters with no name, you know, so you give no context to nope. it whatsoever, that's you know, but there's, there's, Pure fluffery in that story. But Pure I, that, that reminds me, I did drive by the Big Tex uh, place in uh, Albaline, uh, Albaline, Albaline, uh, Texas, where they have, uh, mm -hmm. you eat the 72 ounce steak with all the sides. And you oh, get one of those drink. places? Yes. 72 ounce steak. And all the sides. And all the sides. And what do you win for that? You get the steak on the wall. Free. And you get the steak. And, and you picture on the wall, yes. Yes, and then you can use the vomitorium immediately afterwards. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Could, you eat that? Could you eat that? No, no, absolutely not. I couldn't eat that much. I, I once did one of those, like, the hamburger, if you eat it within a certain amount of time, they put your name on the wall. Yeah. So my name is on the wall somewhere in Africa. <laughs> sure, we're all FYI. the I. Yeah, exactly. They, well, everybody who has a shrunken stomach because they're starving to death, and there you come. Yeah, with you know, yeah exactly. The hamburger was eight ounces. I, I, I balanced things out. <laughs> exactly. That was the record. Eight that ounces. The record for them, eight ounces. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a slider from freaking White Castle. It was like, oh, a, how could he eat that? Please, can you eat the string bean as well? <laughs> that I mean, you're yeah. like amongst like Starving Marvin from South Park. <laughs> exactly. Appetizer. <laughs> Starving Mormon, please. <laughs> I play South Park every single day, and Starving Mormon is always there. after me and tries to kill me. He's a real bastard. Um, okay. Where the hell have we gone? What's good? I, I, I know. So let's go to some commercials because they were really pretty poor today, too. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my God, I missed out on an important clip that we needed to. Uh... Let's go back to it. Let's double back. Oh, this because this is so delicious. It's the best. So he taught he's talking about Jelly Roll because it's his wiki before he even comes in. And he says that Jelly Roll was actually um part of the uh Insane Clown Posse and used to perform at Insane Clown Posse Juggalo get togethers and whatever. And he's trying to he's trying to tell us a story about Tila Tequila. Okay, now that's all I'm gonna say. Yes. Gonna They're all hanging out. He he performed at the gathering of the juggalos like nine times. Wow. He yeah, he was there when uh, Tila, Tila, hold on, <laughs> Tila Tequila. Holy Christ. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm really wow. Glad. Tila Tequila. 
What's wrong? With you? Who's in the show? No, in the stroke. Uh, how do you say her name? Tequila. Tequila. Te- Holy crap. Tequila. Tequila. Moron. <laughs> he, he, come on, he is a 69 IQ. That is a 69 IQ all day long. Are you kidding me? That's a 69 IQ. Can I just try that? Can I just try that one more time? They're all hanging out. He he performed at the gathering of the Juggalos like nine times. Wow. He, yeah, he was there when uh, Tila could, Tila. Hold on. <laughs> Tila Tequila. This made me Wait, laugh. But I, honestly, it made me laugh. Oh, I'm really groggy. <laughs> Tila Tequila. Tequila? What's wrong with you? I think I'm having a stroke. Uh, Tequila? Tequila? What? Tila Tequila. Tila Tequila. What? Tell tell you can kill you. What? What is he saying? What What is he, he saying, Robin? Talks for a living. Yes, this is what he, he talks, does. You should know these things. This is what he does. You know what? I'm going to save a clip from that because this I is to totally that. crackhead Bob territory now. Yeah, it's really a little bit, a little bit frightening. Um. Okay. Jesus so, yeah. So I uh, sorry I had to come back to that because I knew I missed something that I. <laughs> I mean, it's not like her name's a tongue twister i mean it's tila tequila. Tequila. is it all everybody knows so yeah that was kind of weird um but then he starts to go into commercials and does those poorly so let's talk a little bit about that real yes quick. has anyone i know you wouldn't movie. watch this richard but and robin wouldn't either but oh I'm okay so so another thing that he's watching on netflix uh, uh, allegedly of right? course okay so I need to look this up for you guys really quickly, and I'm sorry I'm not prepared, but I, I wasn't thinking. It's okay. It. We're, we're, we're doing better than the show. I, uh, 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 Although that's not saying much. Yeah, I know. It's a low bar. It's a very low bar. Very low bar. Very low. So low. All right. Basically, it's about this nerdy girl in school who, um, nerd, let me try nerd, high school girl becomes model. Okay, let's look at that. Geek girl. Okay. Geek girl, there it is, yep. Geek girl, okay. So it's like Howard, this is Howard's dream. Now, the funny thing about Geek Girl is that it's a uh, it's a series, and yeah. I guess it's, it's like eight... It's eight uh, episodes, and I guess it's been really successful. They're coming back with another one next year. Basically, it's a, it is it's this nerdy girl who somehow becomes a model, and she goes with like her girlfriend to you know try out for in Paris to be models. Yeah, well, both of them basically come up to here on me. They're like you know short girls that in no world you know no. ever become models. But but nonetheless, let's go with the commercial. Let's go with the ad. As anyone, I know you wouldn't watch this, Richard, but and Robin wouldn't either. But I'm looking forward to this. This movie seems uh, it's on Netflix and it seems to be right up my alley. It's uh, It's a movie. Trying to think of the name of it. It's in their top ten, and it says um, it's a story of a girl who's really kind of ugly, and everyone goofs on her, and then she gets a modeling contract, and all the guys hit on her. Like that's (laughs) so my 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 deal, you know. Is that uh, the summer cool. I turned pretty? I know you like No, that. I saw that. That was excellent. Jesus wept. Oh, my God. Come on, really? All commercials. Come on. All the time today. All commercials all the time. And then, of course, go, we go right into this mess up of a commercial. Uh, oh, my God. That was how the day went. Emperor of Ocean Park, starring Forrest Whitaker, the epic Western Billy the Kid, and coming this fall. A highly anticipated return of the psychological horror series from Plus. Thousands. Oh, from. <laughs> I'm butchering. Wow. Uh, what are you doing? What the, you know wow. what? Whoever writes this copy is torturing me. The, the TV, oh, what they're you're... trying to say is. Yeah, that's it. You know, from is coming back, which I love. For from. Right. Love Check from. that out as well. Right. Billy the Kid. Here's how I would write the commercial. A very cool show named Narcos. Uh, but the, the guys who developed it have just away. started a hotel called Cocaine. And also watch uh, some other good shows like Emperor of Ocean Park. And... He can't get what? Shit. I don't know. He he just he just he just couldn't do it. He just couldn't do it. 
Isn't this a I part mean, where Fred sticks a sharpie in his mouth and starts imitating him? Yeah, he should. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, he he has become so inept at everything he used to be good at because he doesn't use any of his any mental ability at no. all. No. Are you saying those naps at, at all any time? Hmm? No. Are you saying those naps aren't helping him? No. Uh, no. No, and and doing the mind everything mindless is uh, really made his what little intelligence he had even less. By the way, that's also that's like a MGM Plus Amazon channel. I mean, they're getting a lot of these type of commercials now to watch yes. different TV shows on different streaming entities. I'm not really sure why that's happening, but that seems to be where the uh, where the ad dollars are going. I guess. Um, okay, so here's the promo that you missed out on right after that. Here we go. Howard Stern's guest DJ special. You would think a guy like me, Howard Stern, doesn't love music, but I... Now, when Radio Gaga put this wow. on her website, um, she said, Jesus, it's a five-hour long show. There's no way he's going on for five hours. But they do, in fact, say on this... Exactly you would think a guy like me, Howard Stern, doesn't love music, but I do. I'm moved by it. Picking songs from his personal playlist. I love to make conversation about songs, so here we go. This is my list. Available now on the SiriusXM app. Just search Guest DJ. Guest so, DJ special. You would think a guy like me, Howard Stern... <laughs> Howard Stern's guest DJ special. You would think a guy like me, Howard Stern, doesn't love music, but I do. I'm moved by it. Picking songs from his personal playlist. I love to make conversation about songs, so here we go. This is my list. Available now on the SiriusXM app. Just search guest DJ. This show. All right, so did he get to play Metal Mania? Because that's his, that's his list. Yeah, with Led Zeppelin. We all know it. It's it's Metal Mania. So again, we're gonna come back to it because that's at the end of the show, and we'll play a little bit of it. Uh, let's go into our intro to Jelly Roll. He just kind of jumps right in, and this oh, is after a multitude of commercials. And then after the commercials, everything was dead promoing Jelly Roll. So well, no, no, no. There weren't even there, weren't, it was, there was like maybe four commercials. Yeah, that was and it. then there was a bunch of bumpers. Uh, I mean, they just dug stuff bumper. out. I was a bumpers. And then they and then they kept on did three. They did three. Here comes Jelly Roll with Jelly Roll talking and stuff like that. And you still have no idea who the guy is. Yeah. It's absolutely hilarious. I still don't know who the hell he is. It's I, I heard I heard two hours. I have no idea who he is. Based on the next seven clips, you still won't know who he is. Okay. No. no. Jelly Roll. What up? Yes, sir. How are you? Great to see you. Welcome. I'm incredible. Thank you, man. Good morning, baby. Excited to see you. This song, you know this song? Angel Flying oh, Too Close to the Ground. Oh, Willie what a Nelson, song. Baby. We can nerd out about Willie all morning, Howard. Is this the best song Willie Nelson ever wrote? I don't know. What do you think about uh, My Heroes Have Always Been Cowboys? That's a great song. I'm sure you don't even know it, you idiot. He, he has no clue. Oh, wait. There's so much more that he has no clue about that I love that it just uh, it becomes that way. So, Titters on the forum today mentioned this interesting little tidbit that Howard came out with. And you know what? We never hear Howard say intellectually curious, right? Yeah, ever, no. right? Have we ever heard him say that? Ever? No. ever? Okay. And where else have we ever heard the words intellectually curious or incurious? Pop mm, out? Let me think about it. Uh, here? Here. That's it. Here? Okay. That's what here. I thought. Here. Hmm. Here. So here he is talking like that. You know, we only get a tiny bit of time on the planet. And now that you're happier and now that you're feeling success and you're feeling like you want to be intellectually curious and all that kind of stuff. What? Do you look back on your life and go, motherfuckers robbed me of my childhood? Yeah, this is how it went. I mean, this is how it went. It, it wow. even got him to the point where Jelly Roll cried because, you know, Howard what, just kept pressing him. Oh, how the parents. His childhood was and his parents oh. and all that shit. I mean, just pressing him like an absolute. Are you sure he just wasn't sweating? He's a big dude. He's pretty big. Yeah, those are meat sweats. He too. might have just been sweating, dude. Yeah. No, he was crying. He was he was actually tearing up about how his uh his yeah, life... put the thermostat at 65 for a guy like that. I have you to have to. I have to you know. must. No, I'm sorry. I'm you have to. Because but you know, the thing is, is that 
he he was pressing hard on father hunger and then mother hunger. He was going back and forth between father and mother hunger. It was great. It yeah. was it was like ping pong. It was so terrible. And just absolutely not listening to the answer to the question. Of course, the typical stern interview. <laughs> so empty. <laughs> but he also used intellectually curious kind of wrong in that sense because you don't develop becoming intellectually curious like that's not you know what i mean the way he used it was just weird because he no. doesn't understand how to, intellectually curious there was he no actually didn't really use it well no because it could he be really real. didn't because he doesn't understand it mm -mm. Well, he first of all, he's the antithesis of everything howard thinks is cool yes yeah He's probably sure he likes country, country music. Everything he hates. <laughs> exactly. There's he, no he, 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 wait, he married a hooker. Oh, wait, Howard and him have that in common. Yeah, uh, there so you go. <laughs> yeah. Because it's worker. guitars and Cadillacs. Still Billy music. So here's here is Jelly Roll asking him, and again, you know, if what happens with the Billy Blanco interview happens i'm sure we'll get this taken down but whatever we'll we'll hopefully i didn't do too much that was uh you know too big of a clip but let's talk about this for a second because yes. Howard, of course agrees with him all the time have you seen these things where people make prison food on the internet have you seen yeah. this trend yeah yep. yeah so one of my best he friends name yep. is struggle he did Never. five years in federal prison um he still once a week has a prison food party at his house for his family Right, he'll make all the prison food. I won't even play spades on the streets now. You know what I mean? I right. won't play poker. Right. I'll only play games I didn't play in jail. So okay, how, yeah, okay. So I've never watched videos on prison food. I'm sure most of us have never watched. Uh, I got a clue. Prison food. Got a clue. Okay, well, let me enlighten you. Let me uh, let me shine a light. That looks like a a, a prison cook. Yes. Let me shine a light on prison food and how to make a chicken calzone, jailhouse style, just in case you needed to know how this goes down. Today, man, you think you want some? Damn, chicken calzone. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, one. All right, for sure. I got you. A was bunch of chicken. There was chicken. There was the Starkist yeah. chicken in that. Uh, is that what that was? But I, I don't know. I, I've been eating calzones since I can like remember, and I don't remember seeing a calzone that looked like Bro, anything I, like I, that. I haven't seen this crap. Is it my chicken? Is it my chicken? So I don't know. I might get obsessed with this a little bit. I might. Uh, no, you, uh, no, you I'm do you. Getting a little nauseous. You do you, Mo. Not that I would eat it or cook it or try it. Or want it, um, but yeah, that's the, that. let's let's be honest. When the dude talked about prison cooking, I bet Howard thought it was a he was referring to packing fudge. Exactly. <laughs> Chris says, "Why am I most offended by the pickles?" I know, but that's just to give a little tartness. I think that's uh, is that, that it. That was real the Are you thing. cleansing I, the palate now? So. <laughs> I was really a little, I think there was like a little conflation between going to prison and going to jail um, right. with our furry fat friend. And I'm pretty sure that Howard didn't know the difference between it because a, a lot of his yeah. prison time or jail time was spent as a juvenile. Yes. Um, and I guess the felony was for like a robbery or something. Right. And um and then he went away for like a couple of months or something like that. So I think that I think his build up to being like a jailbird kind of dude is 
a slightly much ado about nothing. I mean, he's a big guy, yeah. And um, I, I, I will give him that he was a very troubled teenager. Oh no, shit! Very, very troubled. And had a, had a messed up family. Yes, yes, yes. All yeah. of that. I mean, I give you all of that. And but I'll, I will also give him credit because it didn't take very long when he was an adult to realize that that lifestyle was not a good thing. Yeah, no, it seems no. like he kind of figured that out, which is hard. And you know, and Howard loves to come come at you with how did they mess up your child? And you know, and every single person to the person will come back and say, nah, I moved on, I got over it. You know, they just correct everybody but him can move on and get over it. Everyone but him. Yeah, you know what? I I I remember when I was a kid, I don't know if this happened to anybody else, but they used to do this program. It was it wasn't called Scared Straight, but it was like you would visit a prison. And oh, I remember that they would have. Oh, yeah. So they had to sit with like a bunch of prisoners and talk about what jail life was like for them. And then we got to go into prison cells and then they shut the doors behind us and left us in there for, I don't know, like 15, 20 minutes just to see what it was like to be behind closed doors in a silent place with nothing else and like a very dim light. And that was it. And you know what? That, that's pretty much more than enough for me to never steal a lipstick from ABC variety store on the corner of Graham Avenue ever again. Just saying. See, I, I went, I went to Catholic school. I didn't need that. Uh, oh, I, 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 I was already school. in prison. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> Man, those nuns are evil, bro. Yes, they are. That, that's Dude, why, that's you, why did, my hands You get the one like where they walk down the aisle with the ruler. Oh uh, yes, I had they, that. They that ruler, and they're like, if you freaking flinch, it's like boom. That was my third grade sister Damien. That was my third grade teacher. Damien. It was fourth four for me. That's a classic name. That's oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then like whenever like a priest would walk in, you'd be like, you swear to God, like God just walked in. Oh you my god. Exactly. Age. It would just scare the shit out of you. All I had was Wednesday religious instruction where we got to get out of our school early so we could go over to St. Francis and and basically watch videos like those really cheaply done videos of like Jesus and Mary. And yes. you know, they, they all look like they were filmed in like 1952 or something. And they were classics. Yeah. And, and <laughs> best of classics. Best of the Bible. Part one. And then, yeah, then I put on a little white uh, dress and a veil and got married to Jesus. And there you then go. Exactly. Divorced him promptly right afterwards. But <laughs> so he asked the question about whether he lost. You, have, you have a security guard and assistant <laughs> in there about week six. Do you, <laughs> You'd be do, broadcasting do, by week 10. You'd figure it out. I got to figure, though, because you had a weight issue. Did you lose a lot of weight in prison? I would imagine you were ripped. You had to be shredded because they ripped. don't think you're well, right? I mean, you got to lose some weight. They don't. Yeah, I lost, I lost a little weight, but sometimes you can go. The, the I've gained weight in jail before being in and out of it because sometimes the can, the canteen or the commissary sheet is just honey buns, zuzus, and wham whams. It's ding dongs and potato <laughs> chips. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's everything that made me this way. You know? Yeah, well, that's the way it's going to be. I mean, who wants to eat healthy in prison? I guess I don't know. I don't know anything about prison food. I, I'm going I back to no the idea where I don't have any thoughts. Um, no offense, Mo, but I grew up very lower middle class. With uh, did you grow up Hell's Kitchen? No, I grew up in Brooklyn, but this was part of like the curriculum. But don't forget, yes. you know, I went to public school at a time where we had. Everything, I, you know, I was talking to Xavier about this the other day. It's like, how many school trips did you take when you were in like um, elementary school or junior high school where you actually went away like overnight, like and did overnight trips? We did it all the time. I did one. We, we went to Smithsonian. We oh. went to Amish country and they were all like these overnight trips. We used to have the most amazing time. The most amazing. Uh, I, I told you about the field trip that they took us as a learning a career day. They took us to McDonald's. <laughs> no joke. They took us to McDonald's wow. and they show us the back and where they keep all the frozen patties and how and we set our goals. Wow. And we're like literally the poorest kids in the freaking country. And they're like, you'll be lucky if you get to your spot. Melvin. And um, later when I realized that. Up, Maybe it was an yes. elementary school where we did the overnight trips, but pretty much positive it was junior high school because my dad was always the one who would come on the trips. Everybody always wanted 
you know, Mike to come on the trips. And so <laughs> that's what we did. So, yeah. And then, and then the only one that didn't have the parental guidance was the high school um, senior trip where you got to actually, we went to like some ski resort and everybody got completely shit faced and just, it was a, it was a. Hey, you know, about, Al, how old were you when they took you guys to the slaughterhouse? That sounds kind of. Slaughterhouse. FFA. That's like, that's like, you know, less than eighth grade. Oh my God. That's crazy. What's FFA? I don't even know what that is. Uh, 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 Future Farmers of America. My daughter did that for a while. <laughs> really? Hey, about, uh, that's did crazy. They, did they let them use a, the little kids use a pneumatic hammer on those on the cars? Yes. <laughs> fifteen. Okay, fifteen is nuts, but still. Did they? Did they hey, let them hey, use the big Timmy, bandsaw? Hey, little Timmy, come hold this pneumatic hammer. <laughs> You're gonna put Mister Cow to sleep. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people did overnight things, didn't they? Am I going crazy? I, I only did I, it in eighth grade. grade. I did it in eighth grade for my yeah, uh, eighth grade trip. I really, I distinctly remember going to the Smithsonian. I'm positive we went to Amish country in like so we went to Fire Island something. for future fairies of America. Because they had to make you stay overnight if the bus trip was more than X hours or something like that. And you, 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 you were at like what, like a Motel 6, you know, and it was like one parent and four kids per room or some shit like this. It was kind of insane, but we looked forward to it. Oh, All right. Bro. So, Everywhere yeah. I went, we just brought the poor kids to meet like the, the lily white kids. We were, we were just there as examples as what not to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where's your leaf blower? For joking. The Sixth grade camp. We get there. Within 20 minutes, my friend Lino had already punched a white kid in the face with a, his broken arm cast. And he was like literally, he didn't last an hour before they called his parents and come pick this kid up. And this is why you can't have nice things. Yeah, so, absolutely. So they, what they like, they brought you to the place and just hand you lawn equipment. <laughs> Pretty much, dude, exactly. that would have been something. He's the rake the side. McDonald's one, dude. Right I on can't the... tell you in hindsight how horrible. That I'm like, damn, that's what they literally thought of us. That is hard. That is horrible, actually. The McDonald's like the McDonald's. They know I think they were a bunch of little Latino that's kids, terrible. you know. And there was one kid, one black kid named JoJo, of course. Yeah, JoJo, JoJo. The senior VP. Name was JoJo. <laughs> JoJo. <laughs> JoJo, the only one with a life plan at that at that time. He wasn't having any of that shit. Yeah, because that last thing I wanted You're to like, be. Oh, you get a name tag. And now he's the senior vo vice president of, uh, of 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 Trader Joe's. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wait, how old were you when they took you to McDonald's? Uh, fourth grade. Fourth. Oh my god. Grade. Yes. Are you serious. This is your life. Get used to it. Yeah, it was fourth, fourth grade. grade. It was Mrs. Bolds, I think, was a teacher. Oh my god. And in the future, we literally walked like two miles to a McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we thought we thought, oh, we thought well cool they're gonna buy us like 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 i don't think they had happy meals back then but they're gonna buy us like you know like food this is gonna be awesome we get there and they really take us to the back here this is where the fryers are this is where they keep all the they took us down to the basement where they had all the frozen patties and you want other stuff and they're giving you us like the blow by blow of what it's like to be a mcdonald's employee did did they actually make you cook your own food almost <laughs> i think i think it would have been illegal but i think they, they definitely thought about it Oh, that's amazing. Thank you, Jared. <laughs> Howard doesn't give an F about anything Jelly Roll or what he does. He detests the obese Southerners and country. Yes, of course. Yeah, and absolutely. Question instead of listening to the answers. Yeah, and, and Jelly Roll had an interesting life. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. It was like uh, an interesting listen uh, because of Jelly, not because of Howard and not mm -hmm. because of Howard's questions. Um, I thought this was interesting because you know he was he was actually kind of amusing. So here, jail, jail, the adult jail. But in juvenile, man, they really treat you like a kid. Obviously. Oh, I thought it would be the opposite. I thought once you get to the big prison, they're like, hey, this fucking jelly roll is going to be stabbing people in the neck with this pen, and you know, doing God knows. Uh, and in the real prison, they're getting lawnmower blades sawed down, and you know, how does crazy. that happen? Where does that, how do you get a? Where, do people sneak that in in their ass or what? Yeah. I, mean, I got a lawn blow. Yeah. I got a lawnmower blade in my ass. I yeah. mean, it's no, crazy listen, what you see. You'd be surprised what they put in their ass in jail, Howard. Is, <laughs> really? <laughs> well, let me tell you. Uh, Never I'm ask sure people, where the weed came from. Let me just put it that way. If you're ever smoking with somebody, don't ask how they got it in. <laughs> yeah. And Howard was very intrigued about putting stuff in their ass. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> no shit. And then here's um, here's Jelly Roll on tattoos because you've obviously all seen 
the no, he has tattoos. The hideousness that is, I mean, oh, and that's that's a big canvas. You could show movies on that on those. Oh my god, that's as big as my thigh. Actually, it's bigger than my thigh. It's absolutely bigger than that is absolutely that is absolutely bigger than my thigh. That that's is bigger than my thigh. That's absolutely bigger than your thigh, for Good sure. God, that's tremendous. That's tremendous. All right, here, here he is on tattoos. And by the way, this, this, uh, this uh, you know, uh, I, I read somewhere you said you resent, uh, you don't resent, you regret 98% of your tattoos, <laughs> you know, uh, the, the, the ones on the face you regret or you don't. No, no, the, believe it, that's probably one of the few I'd keep. I love my cross. I love my slash. It's these. So listen to me. If you're out there listening to this this morning and you are under the age of 25 and you're considering getting tattoos, I'd like to give you some wisdom that nobody gave me. We Good. will spend three hundred dollars on a pair of fucking shoes that will go bad in six months, or we'll lose. But as soon as a motherfucker wants four hundred dollars an hour to tattoo you, we're out. Thousand dollars an hour, no way. You know what I mean? Right, right, I, right. Dude, I, I paid. I, I have a tattoo on my arm that I gave somebody like a quarter sack of bad weed for, and it <laughs> looks like a quarter sack of bad weed tattoo. They look decent because they're all grouped together, so you're like, they don't look horrible, Jelly. It's like until you dissect them and zoom in, and you're like, these. No, they look horrible. I'm gonna Those are terrible. He looks like a coloring book done by a five year old. Ugh. The hate goes on. Oh, dear God. That lettering. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Music man. Uh, uh, but the ones on his face, he's okay with. Sure. Sure. Why not? <laughs> sure. Why not? Sure. But th I mean, that is some horrible, horrible, horrible. That's some like, I hate myself type of shit. Yeah. Do we have more pictures of these? Yeah, these are, this abomination. I do I do need more? I do. Oh, need we need. Oh, uh, do we really? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Here, he regrets. It's like he's got lots of shit going on. Oh my god. I don't know. You know, once you go for the face, it's all over. Yeah, the face is kind of like that's the the the, the um. The Mendoza line right there. You know what I mean? That's that's you're crossing the Rubicon once you go to the face. Yeah. Even if you do, oh geez. What the hell is that supposed to be? A very, very frightening alien smoking baby with a pug nose. That is terrible. Maybe the baby smoking the blunt. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Jesus. Oh my oh dear God. Big Mike. Okay, I'm good. Big Mike? Yeah. Wow. I'm really bad I've already been covered. Oh, oh, that's bad. National Skyline. Oh, oh that's oh, bad. Yeah, that oh. looks <laughs> that top notch. Covering another shitty tattoo behind it, as we can see. Oh. Oh. Uh. And, oh. you know, everybody knows how painful a tattoo is to get. So... <laughs> The self, a uh, mama, mama V, sure, sure. Oh my god! Oh, and his fingernails are a little dirty, and that's really annoying me. And they're long and dirty. Oh, I'm a little, I'm a little grossed out. Oh, that's oh. really that's supposed to be a cross. That's like for like you know Easter, where they put the veil around the cross, and that it looks like a stick figure with a drape. And then he has it got, looks like a plus sign with a, with a, with a drape on it on his. <laughs> Guns. Those so, are those are not guns. Those are cannons. Gun. Cannons, yeah. <laughs> Torpedoes. Uh, those are howitzers. They're so big. What does this one say? Noah? Is that like a child of his? Maybe. Maybe it's a child of his. Yes. Put that on your face, just in case you forget your own kid's name. Is that what you do? I but guess. it's music man. Well, you know what? It's better than having sixty anka on your freaking body. That's true. Sixty anka. Lots of, lots, of, lots of lots of shit going on on the crosses there. Yeah, it's a look. I mean, uh, it's a look. Yeah. Okay, we're good. We're good. No, no, no. I'm fascinated. I'm sorry. I gotta go on. He has a piercing there too. Oh dear God. In his cheek? Was that a in cheek? his cheek? Oh, yeah. That thing, yeah. Look at that. You, you know what he looks cross. like? He looks like he looks like grimace from McDonald's if he had vitiligo. If they shaved him, <laughs> he's a shaved grimace. That's exactly no, what he. What the hell does that say? Oh, is that Tabasco sauce? I, I can't read that. It's like Let's say Tabasco. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, 
I, Ross Rotisserie? <laughs> Ross 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 Roster Ross. Well, let's look. Let's look. Wait, what does that say? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wow. Um. Um. I know. The hate goes the on. The hate goes on. Oh, it's hysterical, Jelly Roll. These are really amazing tattoos. You know what? I, I give uh, that loser singer dude some credit. What the hell is going, that? We're just going a peep. It's a peep. I think it's a peep. And he tried to eat it off of his own arm. Maybe I can tap out on us. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. Xavier, how did you leave us? Right in the middle. He just, he, he just ran away. He absolutely, utterly just ran away. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, uh, yeah, okay. So that's Jelly Roll's Jelly Roll tattoos. Jelly Roll tattoos. All right, here we go. So what's next? <laughs> Shellback Club. Probably the religious figure Noah with all the, with the <laughs> ark full of all the animals he used to like to eat. Yeah, he likes to eat. <laughs> yeah. I'll go with that. It's a gummy bear with chicken legs. Yes. You know, you gotta you gotta get a little inventive, I guess, when you're in prison and everybody gets the same damn tattoos. I mean, you you, you know, you draw the line on the Nazi, the swastika, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you, you have to draw the line to swastika. That, but you that, know what? The thing is, Danny Trevejo has all his tattoos from prison, and they don't look that bad. Really? All right, they. Come on. I, but he's really scary, so I'll say his things look really good. And you'll be okay with it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And you'll like it. Um, he's a scary man. So they played some music. It was mostly country music. I, you know, I don't know if anybody listens. It was to all country music. He's got that song, Somebody Save Me, which I had told you guys I actually liked, and everybody gave me shit for it. But, um, but yeah, so, of course, he starts to interview the guitarist, and, <sighs> and this, of course, is the A little riff just there, or whatever right the hell now. that was. Right yeah, now, the, I, the new Howard Stern intro. <laughs> yeah. Well, well. So this is a, this is a great coupling. It's a bit of a love affair between the two of you guys. Oh my god! You bonded early on. It's a love affair. Always a love affair. That's so embarrassing. What an embarrassing thing to say. Always the love affair. Hey, David, how are you? Uh, I was hoping everything is good with you. I know you've been on the deafening a couple of times. Just hoping everything is okay on uh, that side of the. YouTube spectrum and that uh, and that you're doing well. Just want to say you're that. saying he's on the spectrum. What? I, well, he, he, David uh, might. Be. I mean, he okay. might be. He's he's brilliant to the point of being on the spectrum. Let's put it that way. He is quite brilliant. He is yes. quite brilliant. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Jelly Roll's wife. And I only have one. Yes. I only have two clips after this, and then the lithium thing, just so you guys can hear a little. Yes. Bit. Yeah. Yes. I came out of the uh, sex working industry. I'm sitting down with her and I'm like, well, what are you passionate about? She's like, well, I'd love to do some kind of a talk show. And she's like, something like Howard, some shock jock shit, because she's kind of funny and loose like you. Oh, she's loose. She, 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 she told me to tell you how much she loves you. Tell her I love her and tell her uh, I love the thing the two of you guys have. Were you nervous being in love with someone who was a sex worker in the sense that uh, you think huh? maybe emotionally she won't stay with me. Maybe she'll want to be with other dudes or something. Oh. Was, was that a concern of you yeah. when you got married? No, no, not at all, man. Yeah, she she's just like you because she she does a podcast now. Um, yes, about being blonde, I guess. Here, let's yes, let's blonde and a whore. I married my best friend. She is the backbone of my entire existence. I love you, Mama Bear. Tag your significant other in this post and tell them you love them. So this is, yeah, this makes absolute sense, this pairing. It looks, it, it's like the number 10. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's truly the number 10. But okay. I mean, if that's what works what if, for you, if that's what works for me. I, I don't think missionaries in there in their forte because he would kill her. Yeah, that's uh, that would, that would be very painful. Oh, well, they've been married since 2016, so okay, okay. They said it wouldn't work, yeah. <laughs> they said their love wouldn't last, it just wouldn't last. He, he he proposed to her like within like a week of meeting her, and then they got married that same night. Yes, they got married the same night he proposed to her. Yes, so yeah, okay, okay, yeah, okay, jelly roll wife. 
she's had a few donuts, but okay. She's yeah, I mean she's not she's she's not a waif, but I mean she's not a she's not she's, she's actually she's pretty good looking. She wears it well. She's, the tattoos she's, are terrible though. Oh my god. She's a good compliment to him, put it that way. I mean she's she she looks five times hotter next to him. <laughs> He's got a very weird body and face. Like he has um He's shaped like a uh, grimace. He is grimace. Is that his child? Okay. All right. That was like his 16 year, his six year old who he was, which, you know, he was having normal 16 year old issues with her, which is fine. Yeah. All right. I mean, he sounds like a normal, actually kind of a normal human being. And Howard can't relate to normal human beings. He really can't at all. Shockingly normal is more the thing. And the thing is like, he missed going to the Grammys because he promised that he would go to this thing for, uh, uh, juveniles that were like having drug problems and yeah. he went and he, he promised he'd be there. He was there and he missed the Grammys to go to that. True really? Story. Yes. So Howard would have trampled the children to be able to make sure he can go to the Grammys and be seen with celebrities. Yes. George Costanza at the fire at the children's party. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. So of course we're at the end of the show. We have two clips left. Robin pops in. And then we talk about oh, Sally's weight. Okay, so everybody in the uh, thread, if you did not listen to this part of the show today, <laughs> I'm going to how much Jelly Roll weighs, okay? Because that's part of the show. And uh, I know how much it is. Okay, you're not allowed to talk. I'm not allowed, but I also know how much it originally was, too. Okay, it doesn't matter how much he originally was. It's, it's how much he says today he weighs. Okay, so shh, don't say okay. anything about originals. I'm nothing. not going to say anything, no, no, but I'll I'll say both when we're done. Look at everybody coming in. Okay, so a Brizzo comes in at 375, Autobot out at 350, 900. Melvin, come on. 378, <laughs> 376, 405, 380, 469, 569, 423. <laughs> all right. All right. You guys are all good. Let's go for it. And you, by the way, just so you know. I love you too. Thank you. <laughs> And Jelly, you look good, man. I mean, I, I mean, you have lost a tremendous amount of weight. You're going to keep going with this. Are you going to look like the Rock in a year? Are you going to okay. be totally ripped? Rock, yeah, sure. I'll be just be young. <laughs> Tell you, <laughs> really? dude, well, you, I don't know if I'm going to get ripped because I always like having a little cushion for the pushing. I'm right. a broad-shouldered <laughs> young man in general, but I think I'm yeah. definitely going to get healthy. Can you imagine if you turn into the rock and you like are suddenly like this, like, like, like icon, like with the muscles and the whole thing? Maybe you will. Who knows? Well, you never I mean, listen. If you'd have told me 10 years ago I was going to be where I'm at today, I wouldn't have believed you. So now when you say shit like I'm like, Howard, you never know, dude. I might get jacked. Jelly, what do you weigh now? Can I ask or is that too personal? What do you? You ready? You ready? What do you weigh? Okay, I'm I'm about whoo, man. This is personal, but I love you. It's about I'm about okay. four forty, and I started at like five thirty. Yeah, four forty. Four hundred and forty pounds, and he's lost. He's lost ninety pounds. And Howard does the bulls. So yeah, you look good. You're losing you lose them. You look good, like. Yeah. Yes, that's true, Alexander. The Rock never looked like Jelly Roll. This is exactly right. Four forty is uh, is substantial. That is, you know, I, the more I look at him, it's literally like you know. Remember, remember in the neighborhood, you had the five by five. That's yeah. a five by five. Oh, look, look who's back, Xavier. Hey, Xavier. Hello. 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 <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> How much does Jelly Roll roll weigh, Xavier? Uh, how tall is he? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't think he's that tall. I I, I think he's like five eleven. Wait, wait, let me get the. Uh, let me let me see how tall Jelly Dude, roll. Jelly Roll. Yeah, he did. He looks look like a little guy. Six foot one. Oh damn! So he, uh, he's that tall actually. So three seventy five. Four forty. Oh. Four four. Oh, and look, he's at a five by five. Damn. There's Jelly Roll looking a little bit less. Black is slimming. Black is very slimming. A little less frightening. Let's see if we can do Jelly Roll Young. I, I would like to see Jelly Roll Young. Uh, let's see, Young Jelly Roll. That there's a Young Jelly Jelly, jelly Roll. Say that fast five times. I can't. There's a Young Jelly Roll. There's he looks a, like that dude, like the King of Queens, dude. 
<laughs> There's a young jelly roll. It's about 10 years ago. Okay. Well, it's just 29 there. There's a big, gigantic jelly roll. All right. All right. Just, I was just curious what the, what's the young roll look like. All right. Let's move on. So we're right at the end of the show and he's saying goodbye to him. And so let's do, oh, he asked him more questions. Hey, will you ever do the Ozempic? Uh, you know what? I have a Manjaro shot at the house that I haven't used yet. Gary Breck and them signed, uh, uh, gave it to me, but I haven't tried it yet. I've been losing a weight without it, so I figured I'd have it in my pocket in case I hit a bad, you know. It's that's got to be better. Right? Is he a yeah, sure, because it only takes one shot for you to lose all that weight, I'm sure. That's oh, sick. absolutely. Just, Just that? one. Just one. David, funny you should say that. I would like to play that for you again. They're all hanging out. He he performed at the gathering of the Juggalos like nine times. Wow. He, yeah, he was there when uh, Tila could, Tila. Hold on. <laughs> Tila Tequila. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm really groggy. <laughs> Tila Tequila. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I think I'm having a stroke. Uh, how do you say her name? Tequila. Tila Tequila. Tila Tequila. Oh. God, All right. he, he we he's officially become this. Listen, listen. Oh, All right, I don't want to hear anymore. I don't want. I, 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 where, where? Uh, blah, 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 blah. We're going to get in trouble. We're going to get in trouble. Yeah. Okay, end of show. Tell you, tell you, okay. yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah. We'll get in trouble just for that two seconds. All right, I got to end the show. I want to play it. Here we go. There you are. Jelly Roll. What a fun morning, Robin. There you go. Oh, and, so and much now, fun. We have so been much taken fun. to church. We certainly have. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah. huh? and now we get to do something even more fun. End that? the show. Oh. The only way to end this show is to talk. <laughs> Total wine and more. That's, that's... Wow. I mean, that literally is the end of the show. <laughs> That, that was it. That, that's how he ended the show, like a real true professional. Yeah. Th there was one thing you didn't pull out, and 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 it was so amazing because he was talking about the Juggalos. He literally said he had the Juggalos on many times. Times, yes, he has many times. The insane clown, insane clown palsy. He had them on many times. Many times. Yeah, they, they once. Fought, uh, remember the Sharon Osbourne thing? What? Yes. Yeah, that was that was pretty classic. Well, okay, so that is the whole point of what Once I twice. recorded for the lithium thing. So, um, Radio Gaga posted what songs he was playing. Ooh. So, uh, yeah. So let's let's start it. Let's start it so you can hear it. XM presents guest DJ Howard Stern. Hey now. Howard Stern, the king of all media, the best interviewer in the business, <laughs> who put satellite radio on the map, is now, for the first time ever at Sirius XM, your DJ. DJ, DJ. Playing and talking about songs he's loved over the years. He won't be playing Alice in Chains. Hour that starts right oh, that's where they said it, for a very special hour that starts right now. Um, the, cu the curious question is, why now? Right? Like, why now? He's because, negotiating his contract. They're not doing so well. Yeah, because the uh, stock is like two dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, his show's not it's doing well. To, the, I, the company's not doing well. He, he's, he's trying to convince him to give him more money. That's why. I don't know. I don't think that he. Volunteered I mean, for this. I don't think he volunteered for this. Oh no, they told well, him they he had to do it. it. And it's interesting because you'll hear momentarily. Um, Howard's view on radio and then the first song. So hang on. No. Hi, everybody. This is Howard Stern and welcome to the Howard Stern guest DJ. You know, over the years, I feature a lot of music on the show. I interview a lot of musicians. Yeah. I just love music. And I also talk about music because I used to be a professional radio DJ and I used to do talk ups. That's where you talk over really good songs and ruin them. OK, remember that. Okay. And so a lot of times on the show, I do play my favorite songs and I talk about why I love them. And so uh, let me share a couple of those. This is all from my playlist that I listen to at home. There you go. Okay. So his first song is Vaseline, right? So then, and then he does exactly what he just said 
was what was so messed up about people doing. And here's the other thing about it. Hang on. I think about uh, Scott Weiland a lot. I really do. The lead singer of Stone Temple Pilots. Uh, rest in peace. I. Uh... What a charismatic dude. We had him on the oh show. Oh, my God. And I used to go to Stone Temple Pilot uh, concerts. And I used to go to Stone Temple Pilot concerts. We used to have him on all the time, and I used to go to Stone Temple. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. Hundred percent, you didn't. Fabulous band. Oh, God. I would go, and I think, geez, he's got it all. He's fucking good looking. He can sing like an angel. Fit as a write. pin. You know, and he's a no pin. weight problem. Why is Blob in there? So. Here's my theory. My theory is that the last two days where they got off air at like 10 o'clock in the morning, oh. it's never going to give extra, extra effort to do something like this. So why not do it whilst he has that, that time period? That's why well, he got out early because he probably is supposed to work till 1030, but he's like, F you, if I'm going to do this for you, I'm getting off air early. And then, well, yep, exactly what I would have given if I was doing a regular show, which is basically wow. like 20 minutes worth of work. Wow. That's what he did. Yeah, exactly. Never more. It's never more from him, always less. But him just babbling over the goddamn song is absolutely embarrassing. And yes, and that's what he did. So that's embarrassing. what embarrassing for the songs. That's what he did for the songs. Oh yeah, my god. Song. It's Howard Stern. Did he do quack quack? I don't think he did any quack quack. And then he did do you think Howard. he do you think he saw Stone Temple when he was in junior high? I know. I don't yeah. know. It's <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> Robin's in there. Um Soundgarden Black Hole Sun. Of course. Then we have uh yeah, and then we realized it was a five hour long show, but there was no way he was gonna be on there for five hours and then of that that it was just for an hour so yeah so it was like a pre-recorded thing and let's see let's see let's see let's see what other music was on there jimmy hendrix are you experienced are you serious on, on, on lithium that's yeah. that's 90s serious? alternative right there yeah he can't even stay on the channel genre rolling stones moonlight mile oh my god moonlight oh that's a horrible song that? phenomenal aged john Hine <laughs> picture phenomenal yeah. that is that Don't is, need to catch up that is exactly what it'll look like. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, ZZ Top, Lagrange. That's not that's not that genre of that station. Not even close. Disturb. Neither is this. Silence. No. Yeah. That's not that's not. And you know what? 100 percent John Hine wrote this for him. The, the, Metallica? The Turn the page. Yes. Yes. That's yes, also that's not that that's genre. That's 90s alternative right there. Yeah, none of this. Oh, of course, Life on Mars. No. By Aurora. No. A uh, 2000 song. And yes, it's yes, yes, yes. Wait, excuse me. Don't you remember they had Aurora on? Like we've never heard yes. of it. Yes. She was like in 2015 she was on. She was terrible. I'm fascinated. Fascinated by her. Oh, my God. Good Christ. Was, let me see. Everclear. Everclear. Um, Nine Inch Nails. Terrible Lie. All right. At least that's that's in the genre. Oh, my God. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, let's see what else we played. Hum, stars, of course. Oh, cool. Of course. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait till we get to Eddie Cochran. Wait, wait. Public, Public enemy. enemy. one is a joke. Are you serious? On uh, get, 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 get down. Mockingbird <laughs> 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 girl. Yes. I, I, I honestly I don't even know that song. Where's Bat Dance exactly, David? <laughs> Um, Pearl Jam Black, do she okay, a song? That's now. the genre, okay? Hang on, yes, yes, yes. Pick their worst song, though. Oh, look, new celebrity guest DJs join Howard Stern, Kevin Hart, Kate Hudson, Kate Hudson, Lewis, <laughs> and more music loving. See, so they're doing like Andy Cohen, they sucked everybody into this, they sucked everybody into being <laughs> DJ. It's like we're losing our we're losing our lease. You gotta do Wait, this. Radiohead. Oh, I hate the worst Radiohead. song from Radiohead. Absolutely. Soundgarden, blow up the outside world. Oh, I like that song. God, make it stop. Tracy Bonham, Mother Mother. Are you serious? Uh, no. No. <laughs> my cousin Chips is like, make it stop. She's like, I got myself into it. I gotta finish right. <laughs> <laughs> Smashing pumpkins, bullet butterfly wing. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. A girl like you. Edwin Collins, the girl like you. 
no. No. Oh, the last few songs, there was no Howard talk over, just playing of the songs. Okay. Um, uh, there's that. There's that song. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing throw it. That, throw that boy. You know, I got in trouble for that last time. Do you know that? Okay. Um, We're in trouble again. <laughs> there he is, Skater Boy. Skater Boy. boy. <laughs> <laughs> never, gets old. never gets old uh, no it does not here we go wait, wait. fighters stacked actors james laid huh Nirvana, lithium live pain lies on the riverside the toadies possum kingdom he never wait, wait. He's no never listened to Possum Kingdom. There's no, no this. way. I tell you, I guarantee you, John High did a playlist for him. Yes, there's no it. way that's on Metal Mania. No way. Remotely cool enough to do a playlist of any kind of music. Like I've never had a thought about what music John High listens to. Oh, no, it's bland. It's bland. Uh, and, and I, and I guarantee you did like a search like '90s alternative songs. I guarantee you it would be like. Down the line, we'll play them all. Uh, it's only an hour of him talking. Howard's basic bitch grunge list that's exactly what it It is. It wasn't even like it wasn't even basic bitch grunge, it was just basic bitch music. Yeah, it's awful. Sirius is lazy as fuck. They do a five hour guest DJ session by Howard, but he only talks for the first hour. He specifically played and discussed Nine Inch Nails, Terrible Lie, and played it. I have the program continuing while I'm working and look what's back on the stupid show. Two hours in and here we are again with Nine Inch Nails' Terrible Lie. Out of okay. thousands and thousands of 90s alternative songs, you play the same song two times on a special. Jesus Christ, lazy efforts. Yeah, so there you go. It's like in a two-hour rotation. You know, you know what's so embarrassing about this? I, I wonder in that five-hour block if there was one Alice in Chain song. One. If there was any, uh, and I, I mean, seriously, they're the only grunge band to have a number one song, the only one to have a number one song. And yet this, this, this mook has absolutely no idea of anything that happened in the nineties. Zero, yeah. zero point zero. He's an absolute tool. Dude. Once again, he was listening to Dawson Creek songs. Bro. Yes, he was. Yeah, he was. And Spice Creek. Bopper music. And he, that's when he was in his, Julia Roberts uh, phase with uh, the hooker. In his 40s. Pretty <laughs> woman. That's his all 40s. he talks about. All that for 90s. <laughs> all that garbage. He never once mentioned Laid by James, Lauren. He never once. No, never. Never did. Well, uh, they're, they're in. It's a good song, though. They're the in. The alive with passionate love. The neighbors <laughs> complain about the noises above. But she only comes when she's on top. You done. <laughs> I'm done. That would be it. That would be it for our show. And that would be it for yeah. our Friday as Wednesday show. Um, we're going to let Dennis do a little chitter chatter about yes. DJ's Classic Garage and what's going yeah. on with that before we leave you tonight. So okay. Yes. So yeah. DJ's Classic Garage had a long cross country trip in a almost 30 year old car. Let me get a piece that... of candy so that I can hear you talking about it. Hang on. Yes. So, um, and I'm working on the videos now. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna break it down by days and show like little sites and stuff we did, and kind of show stuff about the car, and you know, just just kind of showing America, you know, going across America, especially through the desert Southwest and Texas. Um, so that's pretty much uh, ex and that, and I have my assistant working on that shirt right now. Uh, DJ's Classic Garage stole my hubcaps. I love <laughs> so, it. So, um. And uh, so, you know, I'm just breaking it down by videos. I have lives that are up when I was driving. I got assaulted by a tumbleweed uh, in uh, in uh, New Mexico. Uh, it came streaming across. And uh, so I'm doing I'm just doing a little recap of everything. And, and I'm also working on the car now. I actually had to fix it today because it literally was like the blues mobile. It got home and it, it, it actually stopped running when it got in my driveway. It Don't. literally stopped running. After 2,500 miles, it it's stopped had running. It with you and your shenanigans. It's like, I've had it with your bullshit. That's but what I went today, and in 15 minutes, I fixed it. Hmm. 
Interesting. Somebody- yes, and I, I proved that you could drive across the United States without a license plate on your car. Well, you know what? You weren't probably going like 90 miles an hour. You I was doing to- over the speed limit most of the time. But that's okay. Exactly. Oh, no, I'm not an idiot. I'm not going to do 100, make myself obvious. <laughs> I mean, come on. Did you see what somebody just wrote about something no. their kid was doing in the other room? Do you know, I think that we started that trend again because... Yes. Yeah, <laughs> totally did. Thank you, Ida. Thank you so much. My 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 uh, my assistant wonders why I'm I always end up start just singing that song out of nowhere. <laughs> it's just and and everybody is doing it on TikTok. Everybody is doing TikTok yeah. burrito burrito. All of a sudden, everybody yeah. remembered that that was. Yeah, the they same. remembered it all at the same time. Thank we you, Ida. All right, so wait. So what's up now? What's up now? Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm working on a video to put up tomorrow. It's going to be the first day. That was 700 miles of driving oh. to get to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Mm-hmm. I do show Duck on a Rock in uh, in the Grand Canyon, which is incredibly cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and a giant brush fire that broke out. I mean, it was massive. One of the biggest forest fires I've ever seen in my entire life. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll out every day. I'm going to roll one day. So there's, five, there's five days of stuff. So I'm going to roll that out. And then I have a repair video on it. And eventually I had to get back to my charger because I broke uh, I broke a valve spring on it. And I had to like, I had to take all the valve springs out of it and put them back in. So oh, yeah, that sounds horrible. It's, it's not fun. It's, it's, yeah, sucks. man, that sounds really cool. It's really, really sucky. So I can't even drive my charger right now. Actually, the weather's so crappy. I can't anyway, but yeah, so that's what's going on. Plus I'm going to go back and work on the Toronado and I have a Subaru to work on and, you know, my the assistant and I are gonna be working on this uh this convertible because the assistants should be getting this convertible to drive. So It'll it's be... in her best interest to work on it with you. And Absolutely. She's she is going to learn how to work on a car. Awesome. All right. So make sure you go to uh Dennis's channel, DJ Not Scott, going on and check out his massive cross country trip. And yeah. uh and yeah, and so that is it for us tonight. Um, I am as I told you all. I am working on pulling together the Eladia Baldwin show that we're yes. definitely going to be doing. And these people that I might be hooking up with also are going to be uh, live streaming the uh, the court case as well. So we're figuring out how to make that work and if we can make it work and how it's going to happen. But I think that's going to be really fun. So that's all I got. And that's all we got. And have a wonderful rest of your week. Um, and I guess we'll see you guys on, uh, on Monday. Monday. Yes. Hey guys, thanks for hanging with us tonight. Please join us for any further discussion at radiogunk.com in the forum section. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Radio Gunk. And don't forget to like this and subscribe to us and hit that little bell. So you know when we're doing a new show. Thanks.